Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video, I will show you how to use ChatGPT with uh, PHP and API. So if you have a website uh, or a server running with PHP and uh, you want to produce some content coming from ChatGPT and you want uh, to produce it automatically through API, this video is for you. I will show you how I've implemented it for one of my websites and I will show you also all the technicalities so that you can implement it yourself and I will put all the code on my GitHub and also on my website. All the link will be in the description of the video. So how do I, um, how did I implement it? Uh, the ChatGPT with API, why did I do that? Uh, basically, I have a website uh, that produce um, analysis, means reviews of uh, crowdfunding project uh, all over the world, mainly in France, but all over the world, uh, like in Eastern, in, uh, in Europe also, and in the US. And uh, I have some analysts that produce uh, all the all those analysts, uh, analysis. And the idea was to, to, to do two things. Um, first, to make a summary of the analysis that is produced by the, by the analyst. And, second, and secondly, to uh, produce the analysis in English. You can see here that I have a multi-language website. So if you click here, then uh, the analysis will be produced in English. But I want the analysis to be summarized in a funny way. I want, to, I want it to be expressed uh, nicely in English, etc. Not like a pure, a pure translation, okay? And I will show you that on another, on another, uh, on another video. I wanted it to, to be expressed vocally, to have like a voice, uh, to voice it. And I use uh, Google AI to do that. So first, there's a chat GPT producing the content and then uh, the text and then Google AI to, uh, to voice it. So I made it. It's running for a couple of months and it's nice. It makes uh, the purpose is to acquire uh, a bigger audience on my uh, bigger traffic on my, uh, on my website, not only the French, the French one. So give you, a, I show you an example, very simple. So this is, this, the analysis is made, is written by the, um, by the analyst. So basically he writes that. So this is written by a, by, by a human. Okay. We are, we're going to distinguish human and uh, robots like uh, Google, like uh, ChatGPT AI. So from that, you, you see, it's not really sentence. It's just, uh, it's, it's all, all, always the same framework, always the same thing. So basically there are lots of criteria. Okay. And from that reproduce all that. It means this part, this part, this part, this part, this part, all those things are produced by ChatGPT. So it takes the information that is here plus other information that I give to, uh, to ChatGPT. I give the instruction automatically. When I say I, it's my PHP server. It means my PHP server will give the instruction directly as if I was manually, manually inputting directly the, um, the, the, the instruction on the chat GPT. So everything is made automatically through um, API. So it produces the, the HTML. So there is uh, not only like the, the paragraph here, but also the section, the H2. It means um, chat GPT decide which section to, uh, to, to put directly on the website. So it may be a bit dangerous to do it. But I've been, um, it, it runs for a couple of months, so it's very interesting. It, uh, there are some variation between projects. So this is one project. I'll show you another project. You can see that the sections are actually different. Uh, they, they may be different. They are similar, but uh, they, they may be different. You see uh, what, uh, what are the pros of the project, the weakness of the project. And here it's, uh, it's a, bit, um, a, bit, uh, a bit different. You say, okay, these are the force and weakness of the project. This is the environment. So it really depends on, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's fluctuating over over project, but it, of course it depends on the instruction. So this is a summary. This is still in French. It's in the same in the same language. But there is also the tra the translation and the translation. I show you some translation. So all these things you see. This is an analysis of the same of the, the, the similar project, the same project made by um, a French analyst. He put the, he wrote the analyst in in uh, in French. And it's been translated. So this one, this all this part, even this part, like this section, has been generated automatically by ChatGPT based on the French analyst. You see. And uh, I show you another example to to, to show you how can, there can be some variation in the production of um, of uh, chat, of the content coming from uh, ChatGPT. So you can see here 
there is no section. It doesn't produce any, any section. It produces only like a, a raw text. So sometimes, depending on how you, you instruct um, ChatGPT, ChatGPT, you will receive uh, either uh, an HTML with a H2 and paragraph, etc., or you will receive a raw text. So you will have to manage that and show it properly on your on your website. It's not very it's not very nice. I should have like, for example, um, uh, uh, make a new line each time, but it may create some. Uh, it's it's very interesting and very useful. And you can see and okay. So that's the output. That's the outcome of everything. And of course, this is made fully automatically. So how to implement that? I'm sure you're eager to know. Okay. So first thing, you need to go, ah yes, you need to set up. You need to set up uh, your open AI account with like API. Okay, so API. So you go to uh, platform.openai.com and uh, you set up everything. You have to put your, your credit card, uh, uh, give, uh, give it to, to open AI. But keep in mind that um, depending on how often you request and what the quantity of information you, you produce, it for example, for me, you see that the analysis is quite small. It's like a few few hundreds of, uh, of words or it's, it's, it's not much. It's like it's less than 1000 characters per, anal per analysis and I have two or three analyses per day. So I was thinking, OK, let's see. Let's see how much it will cost. And actually, you can see here the, ac the activity. So my server is requesting uh, is requesting like uh, regularly uh, every time there is an analysis it triggers actually a call to ChatGPT uh, using the cron task okay and this call to ChatGPT which I'm going to show you the implementation actually costs money each time but it costs how much does it cost actually it costs zero <laughs> because even if you have to put your credit card and everything because you have like a like a, a free i don't know like 38 dollars etc and you see i i, I use 3.5 dollars every month so, so it's very very small and on top of that i don't pay anything okay i have a balance they give you like a free uh, free voucher of i don't know 20 dollars 30 dollars so depending on your usage but most most likely, if your usage is quite is quite small, you see monthly spend 0 0.43. It's massive, very 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 small. Okay, um, okay. So we are good on that, uh, and you can you can track actually all the activity, all the requests that are that are made to 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 control and monitor the evolution of your uh, of your usage and the cost. Okay, you can use here. You can see GPT 3.5, but you can use also GPT uh, 4. Uh, by API, okay? So what's the implementation? Alors, the implementation actually, so once you, okay, once you, you have everything set up, you, you have your API key, and with this API, API key, your secret key, actually, you will call chat GPT. So the implementation, so how did I made it? Actually, I made it very simple. I created a function called request chat GPT, okay? And this is instruction, you see the, the argument is instruction to chat GPT. So this instruction is exactly the instruction that you may, may have instruct uh, chat GPT manually. So it's exactly the same, okay? But you need to build it, okay? So that's, so I will go into this function and I will show you how I call it. So here, this is a log part. Here, I make a distinction between uh, my server, my dev server and the production server. And um, uh, on the on the dev server, I only allow. Alors, this is interesting. I only allow uh, maximum token, okay? Maximum because you pay by token. Pay by token is like pay by uh, by uh, character or by word, okay? So uh, I made a maximum of uh, just to avoid uh, like a crazy consumption in case there is uh, some issue with the server. I put like 400 just for testing purpose. And uh, ah yes, this is this this is the the the, the word that will come back from ChatGPT. Okay, so uh, it will come like no more than 400 uh, word. It means ChatGPT may stop at some point. Ah, that's a very important part. So ChatGPT, when you request, uh, 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 you give an instruction to ChatGPT, produce uh, like a paragraph uh, talking about uh, analysis of whatever, reviews of whatever, translate, etc. You should give a limitation because it doesn't, it doesn't know if he will have to, if he has to write like uh, 100 words or 1,000 or 10,000 or if you want a book, you know. So you have to, 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 to tell him in advance, it's better. 
it's, it's not you have to, it's not you must, but it's, it's seriously, if you do the API, it's much better to do that, just to have a limitation to know uh, bah, approximately how much, uh, how much information it will, how, how many words it will, it will come back. So uh, I put uh, 400 for the dev environment and 2000 for, uh, for the prod environment. So there will be no more than more or less 2000 words. This is important because careful, if it extends that, then it may be cut. It means if you produce like 3000, but then you have a max to token at 2000, then, it, then you, 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 um, your, uh, the, 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 the content will be cut on your website. This is, this is really bad. I had a lot of problem with that. So that's why I put all the, all the limitation. Okay. Then, but it's all, it's, 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 uh, it's a lot of trial and, and error. So here you have the JSON encode. Here you put the, which version of ChatGPT you use. So here it's like, uh, I put 3.5 because I saw that the result with 3.5 was more than sufficient. Uh, I just asked like for translation, funny translation with some personality uh, uh, behavior and stuff, but it's very, uh, I mean, it works well. So I didn't go for GPT-4, which is more expensive also, but uh, more expensive. I mean, uh, maybe uh, instead of 35 cents, maybe I will have to pay 70 cents, I don't know. So here you put the instruction, okay? So you can, you can type it manually also just to, just to test. Uh, here you have other parameters like temperature, max token, okay, top P, frequency, penalty, penalty. So I don't use it. Honestly, I didn't, uh, I didn't check much. Uh, I saw that this was more working perfectly and done. Here you have the, the so the address of ChatGPT that you, so it basically it's, it send the JSON and it will get, and you will get back the, the information. Okay. Okay, and you will get the results uh, from ChatGPT just in this variable uh, results, and uh, and that's it. So you see, it's, it's extremely simple. <laughs> it's very very simple. So now, how do I call it? Basically, you need to uh, to to create your instruction. So my instruction is what I have analysis in French, and I want them uh, to be uh, summarized in French, and I want them to be summarized in English. That's it. So there will be a couple of uh, different uh, instructions. So I show you, uh, I show you the instruction. So this is uh, this is another function, okay? That will call actually this function, okay? With this parameter. So it will build this parameter and send it to uh, to uh, to request ChatGPT. So call ChatGPT, uh, ask for analysis. Okay, so here there are a lot of uh, don't don't look much, man, because I have lots of uh, object, uh, lots of class and everything. Basically, uh, here I create the instruction. I said it means in French, so I, I could give the instruction in English. But as the um, uh, the the analysis is made in French initially, I give the instruction in French. Well, okay, so it means I translate for you. Uh, make a description in. You see, this is a variable in a, in, in a language. So basically, this, will maybe, this may be in French or in English. But that's just from, just from that point, it's extremely powerful because you can make a description in any language, which means if I, if I ask him to make the, 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 the reviews in Chinese, in Japanese, in Italian, in whatever language, it will be produced. So it means if you are creating a multi-language website or you want to translate in, uh, but not have like, like uh, uh, just a, a raw translation, no, no, something very nice. You can have different type of translation, a long translation, a short translation, whatever, you will make it just by changing this variable. So me, I, I do two, two, so far I do only French and English. So make a description of, uh, in, uh, for example, here it's in English, of the analysis of a project following um, of the following project, you will give at the end of the project your opinion, which means that's, that's my intention, like in the future, to, to, to ask actually ChatGPT to, to be an analyst and be able to give a scoring of uh, those, those type of uh, crowdfunding project. I say, be, uh, be, um, be, uh, be fun. <laughs> you can, you can tell him to, to, to to make some jokes also. I try to, to, to make it funny. Answer in 400 words approximately. Okay. You see, I don't want, that's, that's, the, that's an important part, you know. Okay. 
write your answer, uh, and then there is other instruction because I will ask more. Write your answer in HTML with uh, H2 tag because I want to create the section. You want to create the, the, the HTML, uh, not I just I prefer to have HTML than uh, raw text. And uh, so H2 for the subtitle and uh, P tag for the paragraph. So I, I asked him to produce actually the web page. Okay. But I noticed that uh, this works maybe 80% of time. 20% of time, it will still produce raw text, even if I ask him to, uh, to produce uh, HTML with H2 Excel. So it's not, again, huh? you, you uh, with ChatGPT, uh, it's not like a 100% uh, working. It's like it has a, his intelligence. If he's lazy that day, then he will produce just raw text, depends. So, um, so that's it. Okay. And how do you, how do you call that? So you see, I make, um, so here, for example, I just, I just, uh, uh write, uh, just to, 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 to log, you know, to, to, to control. I just, uh, show the, the query I send. I just show, uh, this is for testing purpose. I just show the, the results with a var dump here. To, 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 to see that. So it's very easy to test actually, but you can deactivate all that once you are in production. And then when you, uh, when you receive the, the results, basically you have to decode, to do a JSON decode because you receive, you send JSON, a JSON format and you receive JSON. So you just, you just do the, just use JSON decode function. And you will see, actually you receive like after you, you have an array, and you, uh, the content is here, is located here. Okay. And that's it. After the content, what do I do? Uh, just, uh, I put it in the, in, in a database. So in my, in a table, a SQL table. And then after you will see it on the website, that's the one that you will see here. Okay. That's it. So how do I automate that? When an analyst send a, a new analysis, then there is a cron task. This contacts will, will check that there is a, there, there is a new anal uh, analysis, a new analysis, and this analysis will be summarized and translated in English, put in the database, and uh, and the website will show it. Actually, not only not only the website, but I, but this content is also sent to um, to an investment club that I have on Telegram. It means I produce I produce uh, the, the summary and I send I can send the summary to Telegram club with a Telegram API. I made another video in the past about uh, how to implement uh, a Telegram uh, um, bot and API and everything. So you see, it's extremely powerful. And uh, this is just the beginning of the automated production of content coming uh, thanks to uh, ChatGPT and there will be, uh, there will be more. You, the, this is a level of automation for translation, for multi, multi-language website, for this, this is just, this is just the beginning. <laughs> okay, guys, if you have any question, put in a, in a comment of the video, uh, or just, uh, or better, send me an, send me an email uh, from uh, my website. I will put everything in the description to, to contact me. I wish you a very happy day. Bye-bye.